Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to discuss the Python project using machine learning and deep learning algorithms which is a web attack detection or so the network attack detection using various uh, machine learning and the deep learning techniques. Basically we are going to detect uh, multiple attacks uh, with different different algorithms. For example we are going to detect SQL injection attacks then cross-site scripting attack, then phishing attack or the phishing websites we are going to identify and then we'll be identifying the network intrusion. So four different approaches we are going to follow, four different algorithms we are going to implement and using those algorithms we'll be able to detect the various attacks. Now coming back to the uh, what attacks on the network or on particular system, there are multiple types of, for example, SQL injection attacks. So this happens whenever uh, somebody fills the form or something like that or the uh, for example username password you have to enter and instead of that somebody puts the SQL uh, commands. So in that case that kind of attack is nothing but the SQL in injection attack and sometimes some scripts are entered uh, during the inputs and that script so we can consider that as a cross-site scripting attacks so both the attacks can steal the information from our uh, network or from our data so in order to protect that we must be able to detect such kind of attacks and in order to detect such attacks we are going to use the machine learning techniques and some deep learning algorithm similarly the phishing websites which are suspicious websites we need to identify such websites and for that purpose again we will be using the deep learning algorithms to identify such uh, websites. Now coming back to the implementation part, this is the paper of this particular project which discusses the detection of various attacks and all those things and as far as the implementation part is concerned, this is the complete file structure where we are having some python scripts plus some html css files in the templates and the static folder and the rest of the things are the python files and some uh, neural networks or some model that we have trained and we are using the flask framework of python to uh, design a web application or a web gui for this particular project now once this is running you can actually uh, open the google chrome or any other browser and you can type localhost colon 5000 and then uh, this kind of system will open now here uh, the username and password we will have to enter so after once we enter the username and password so here sql uh, query uh, we can type and if it is uh, related to the sql injection then it will display it is a sql injection otherwise it will be displaying the uh, normal thing so for example if i put this one and if i try to predict it so it's a sql injection and if i enter anything else so it's a normal query so whenever you type sql queries and uh, if some queries so, so how it happens so in our uh, websites or web applications or in systems most of the time the user has to enter the username password or any other information so instead of entering the username and password if some person tries to enter the uh, sql queries and which can directly hit the database and can steal information from the database so that kind of attacks are called as sql injection attacks and we can identify those attacks and we can protect them now another type of attack is the uh, uh, cross-site scripting attack and here some scripts are entered and using those scripts we will be able to identify whether this is the uh, attack or not now for that purpose uh, we will be copying something from the data set so let's uh, consider uh, this kind of uh, query from the data set so this is the one so if this is the script then uh, it will be detecting that as a scrot side scripting attack or xss attack now this is the attack because if you consider in the database also it's one at the end so it's a attack all the things so that's how it was able to detect this as a attack 
now these are various uh, things and this is the database we are using so many data sets we are using for access we are using different data sets for um, sql we are using different data for phishing we are using this different data set now coming back to the next type of intrusion or the attack is the phishing websites detection so here you can put some website and you can check whether that url is now this time it is legitimate url it's not the phishing website but if you consider something like this one then this is the phishing url so this way it identifies whether that url is phishing well a url or the normal legitimate url and another type of attack we are going to detect is the network intrusion detection using machine learning so here we need a packets and uh, we are having some uh, test packets uh, to detect the intrusion and uh, i think that are stored over here so it's a uh, test packets so you can copy any packet and uh, you can simply put on the web so this is just the id <coughs> of that packet so moving that thing then predict so it's an anomaly so knn so we are using three different algorithms for this so it's a knn algorithm says it's anomaly then bnb says it's anomaly that means there is intrusion and dtc decision tree classifier this bernoulli is new base this is k nearest neighbor so all these algorithm predict that this is having the intrusion so these are various techniques we are using to detect the web attacks happening on the network and using the uh, various machine learning algorithms like knn uh, navy base decision tree even the neural networks the cnn algorithm multiple algorithms we are using roughly we are using almost uh, four to five number of algorithms five to six number of algorithms for this particular project so in case you need the uh, guidance for this particular project and the coding part even the documentation part reports and pptes then you can check the description box below this video thank you